Hello YouTube, welcome to uh, an unboxing video here on uh, Astro Dad. Today I'm going to be unboxing a uh, set of delivery from uh, Rother Valley Optics in the UK and I've got the uh, William Optics Z73 telescope, uh, guide scope, uh, a flattener and then some other some bits and bobs, a camera and the uh, ASI Air, so we're going to unbox all of that. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, have a look at what they look like. Hello again, so let's get on to with the uh, unboxing. As you can see, it's a nice rainy day in the UK, so uh, we're not going to be going out tonight to look at anything, so perfect chance to get unboxing some new toys if I delivered. So here we go, so this is the uh, movies aside. First of all, we've got the William Optics Z73. Uh, I've gone for the white with the red option. Let's have a look. Disappointing, it's come with a, a foam lid as well. Very nice. So, uh, first impressions, beautiful, nice matte white. This is the new uh, page scented uh, cover with the batten of mask built in. That's a, there's a nice velvet finish inside there actually. That sits nice and tight, nice and snug with a nice velvet finish on the inside of the lid. And I'm winding that off. Even the thread feels nice. So by trade I'm a mechanical engineer of 18 years, so when I, when I sort of use things with threads and that's there you go, they've got the nice uh, clear acrylic uh, batten of mask built in there. Yeah, so when it comes to looking at threads and surface finish and things like that, I can really appreciate a uh, good build quality when I see it. So obviously that one, the uh, the guide, the, you've got the rail, the old dovetail, the nice little William Optics inscri in, uh, inscribed there. And a nice uh, guide scope holder with the two quick release knurled wheels. Um, I'm going to quickly just loosen these off. See, even the even the knurled wheels have got a nice soft PTFE bush on the end. If I rotate that 90 degrees, roughly, to the vertical position, just knit them back up again. Everything about this telescope so far, first impressions, is, is, I say it's a gorgeous build quality. Seems to be a, group, a screw missing though for the, uh, for the dew shield. Let's have a look. Ah, here we go. So there's loads of screws in here. I don't want a silicone gel in there. So there you go, some screws in there for the guide scope uh, mount. Dew shield lock screw. There we go. That must go in there. So with that extended, it's quite nice. It's a nice little size actually. So for this uh, telescope, it's going to be more for the kids to use really, with the uh, ASI Air. And they can just go on the iPad and take get take some, some images with this. Um, you got your dual speed focuser there, must be locked. I've noticed there's a couple of times I've seen the stickers, the little Q, William Optics QC inspected quality check passed, uh, which is nice, nice little touch. Let's pause it there. So like I said, we've got the dual speed. Uh, focus of there. It feels solid, really nice, really nice build of quality. Even all these sort of even all these rivets here, beautiful flush, gorgeous finish. Ah, <laughs> and there's even a uh, a temperature dial on the side there, which is a nice little touch. Again, beautiful build quality. So that's the telescope. We've also got this uh, quick release there for the the two inch piece and then there's the plastic protection bung there on the on the smaller eyepiece size and then inside the scope there I won't leave, I won't leave this off any longer than it needs to be now I'm not sure how I bought the, uh, the the flattener as well from William Optics to go with this pretty much everywhere I've sort of read and the experts you speak to say you know you really should be including the price of the flattener in the cost of the scope because it's the, the, you kind of you don't really want one without the other so i bit the bullet and bolt both at once so i'm not quite sure how we'll, we'll fit that on there yet but we'll we'll cover that shortly so what else we've we got in the box uh, we've got the screws 
We've got a, uh, a carrying strap going to another reason that really. We've also got a, um, a little certificate here as well, William Optics warranty with the serial number and the product signed. Oh, that's nice and a little checklist as well with all the cleanliness, collimated, paint inside and out, dew shield, dew shield retract smoothness. Mm. Uh, and the focuser, you've got the tension, the smoothness, all the ticks for, the, uh, for that as well. So again, so far everything I've seen from Wing Optics, just they seem to go the extra mile really, um, in terms of quality. And you know, for the price you pay, you should expect good quality. But I just seem to think that at the moment it's a little bit ahead of the competition. Okay, so let's look at the, where's the other box? Got a flattener. Mm. You can see there, William Optics uh, P flat 73. So there's two flatteners for it. This is a, there's a fixed and there's an adjustable. This is just a fixed one. It's well taped up. Again, we've got another little uh, warranty card in there. Got the William Optics flat 73. Very nice. So now, how do we get this? Hmm, how do we get this on there? Now, obviously, I'm presuming that this will replace, he's going to have to replace this. Uh, which the minute looking at it from if I turn it around so you can see there's small little allen key screws uh, three of uh, located around the base there uh, I've tried it's tight so I'm gonna have to try and loosen those and then see if this will unscrew it's a bit daunting taking apart a brand new telescope but I can't see any other way that that thread is going to fit anywhere but in, in place of that so uh, let's take an Allen key and let's wind out these little screws. I don't want to wind them out all the way. They weren't actually that tight, really. I suppose you don't want to over tighten them. Like that, and then that's now going to screw off. Again, some really nice thread, nice fine thread. There you go, inside the telescope. I'm going to lay that down flat. Kind of glad I did put it uh, with the rail in the bottom because it's, it's nice, balance is nicer when you rest it on there. And then we'll put the flatness straight on. Let's we'll try and get this on, try and not keep it exposed to dust for any longer than it has to be. Yeah, so straight away I can tell that thread there fits beautifully. So I'm just gonna line that in. It's a shame really because you've got this beautiful red finish or the gold, they do gold and blue as well, and you go and you go and put it, you know, you, you pay based on the colour and then you're taking this beautiful cold finish off and replacing it with this. It's a shame really. It's a shame this doesn't come with the uh, same colour options. And that's an improvement uh, request for uh, William Optics, if they ever watch this. So I'm just going to get a little tiny nip, and then there's a little, again, an old wheel there just to tighten it up on. Perfect, so now on there we can put uh, camera mounts. Uh, I think you could even, yeah, that opens up, so you could even put a filter in there as well, so you could put the anti-pollution filters in there, or RGB filters or any of that. Not something I've really delved into yet, filters. Uh, that's on my to-do list of things to uh, research, to buy and use. So there you have it, the William Optics Z73 with the field flattener. Um, really looking forward to using it. As soon as we get some videos and some pictures of this in action, we'll put them up on the channel. One last thing I forgot to put on is the... Uh, 
the Dew Shield glove screw. So I'll put that on there as well. Oh, that's good. And then we've got, oh, while we're here, what we'll do is we'll also unbox. So we also went for the William Optics guide scope as well. So let's see what this looks like with this one. So when you're buying, when you're looking, if, you're, if you're looking at buying this or the sizes above, I think you really need to factor in when you're comparing to similar scopes in the same price range. You're gonna to want to get the flattener. Um, if you, you know, if you want to call the full hog, I think big guide scope as well. So I've gone for the same red finish, William Optics. Another little warranty card there. This is the Roto Lock. So it's a nice, quick release. You rotate. Eye pieces in and out, or your camera, obviously for the, for the tracking, and then just it tightens up, nice and tight. Again, just a beautiful. It's hard to explain what it feels like, but it's just a beautiful matte white finish. So that's going to sit in there. We've got, got in the bag some more screws, and again, quality. Even just a simple screw, really nice clean cut threads, and I like the little white PTFE on the end of each one just to. Stop the damage and stop scratching on your scopes. Beautiful. I'll quickly pop this in. Just so you can get a quick glance at what it looks like with it in there. All this was pause the video while I put these six screws in. Okay, so that's all the screws uh, nipped up. There's about five or six threads. I've, I've not perfectly aligned or anything like that. I've just uh, done a rough job, but that's about five of the peaks of the thread. Uh, on each on each screw there holding it kind of central so now you can see what it looks like with the, uh, the juice shield extended if I wind out the focuser as well a little bit get under the length and with the guide scope on there you go William Optics uh, Z73 in terms of build quality and finish I think it's an absolutely gorgeous telescope, it really is. So we're looking forward to seeing what we can capture with it. Uh, see you in my next video for the unboxing of the ASI Air. See you soon.